Hello viewers, welcome to the section Spring Cloud. In this section we will learn about Demo Microservices Setup, Setting up Spring Cloud Config Server, Spring Cloud Bus, Load Balancing. Now we move on to the video Demo Microservices Setup. In this video we will set up two microservices. Spring Cloud aims to provide solutions to some commonly encountered patterns when building systems on the cloud. It is important to understand that Spring Cloud is not a single project. It is a group of sub-projects aimed at solving the problems associated with applications deployed on the cloud. A few things are common to all projects under the Spring Cloud umbrella. They solve some of the common problems with developing applications on the cloud. They provide great integration with Spring Boot. They are typically configured with simple annotations. They make extensive use of auto-configuration. We will now use two microservices. They are Microservice A and Service Consumer Microservice. Microservice A, a simple microservice exposing two services, one to retrieve a message from the configuration file and another random service providing a list of random numbers. Service consumer microservice, a simple microservice exposing a simple calculation service called the add service. The add service consumes the random service from microservice A and adds the numbers up. Let's quickly set up these microservices. Let's first discuss microservice A. Use Spring Initializer to get started with Microservice A. Type the group name as com.mastering.spring.cloud and in the artifact type Microservice A. In Search for Dependencies, choose Web, DevTools and Actuator. Click on Generate Project button to generate our Microservice A project. In our Eclipse IDE, we have already imported the Microservice A project folder. Open the random number controller.java file. We will create a service to expose a set of random numbers by adding this highlighted block of code. Request mapping annotation is where the random service returns a list of random numbers. Private int generate random number generates random numbers between 0 and 1000. We will now save the file to keep the changes. When we open the browser and type the localhost 8080, we will get a sample response from the service like the one which is highlighted on the screen. Next, we would want to create a service to return a simple message from the application configuration in application.properties. Open the application configuration.java file. Let's define a simple application configuration with one property message by using this highlighted component annotation block of code. Configuration properties annotation defines a class defining application.properties. Private string message defines one property message. The value can be configured in application.properties with the application.message as the key. Don't forget to save the file. Let's configure the application.properties. For that, open the application.properties file and add this highlighted line. Spring.application.name is used to give a name to the application. Application.message equals default message and configures a default message for application.message. In this message controller.java file, we have already created a controller to read the message and return it by using this REST controller annotation block of code. AutoWire annotation auto wires application configuration to enable reading the configured message value. Request mapping annotation line exposes a simple service at the URI or message. Map.put is the service which returns a map with one entry. It has a key message and the value is picked up from the application configuration. Since we have made the necessary changes, we will save the file now. When the service is executed at localhost 8080 message, we get the response which is highlighted on our screen. Next we will move on to service consumer. Let's set up another simple microservice to consume the random service exposed by microservice. In our Eclipse IDE, we have already imported the service consumer project. We have opened the number adder controller.java file. The highlighted block of code adds the service to consume random service. In the value annotation line of code, we would want the number service URL to be configurable in application properties. The request mapping annotation line of code exposes a service at the URI or add. The add method calls the number service using REST template and has the logic to sum the numbers returned in the response. Next we will configure application.properties by using these highlighted lines of code. 
spring.application.namelineofcode configures a name for the Spring Boot application. Server.portlineofcode uses 8100 as the port for service consumer. Number.serviceLineofCode configures the number service URL for use in the ad service. When the service is called at the URL localhost 8100, the response is returned as 10,000. We now have our example microservices ready. In this video, we learned about demo microservices setup. 